Get ready with me as I prepare to do my makeup, hair, and wig for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? This I learned on TikTok. I already have my skincare and SPF on, so basically you use any setting spray and loose powder to set all the makeup before anything goes on. For my primer, I'm using MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light Shade. For my foundation, I'm using Strokes Soft Veil Foundation in the shade of Medium 1 and mixing it with Tarte's Shape Tape Contour in the shade of Rich. Another trick I learned on TikTok was to make the shape of a triangle when applying your contour. So I'm evening that out with an angled foundation brush and I'm now going to use Strokes Concealer Brush to blend and even out the contour and the foundation. For my concealer, I'm using Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Eraser in Medium 130. It's a multi-use concealer which you can also use as a highlighter in specific areas of your face to make your face look more snatched, which I also learned on TikTok. Blend that in with the sponge and the brush. I then set it with MAC Studio Fix Foundation Powder in NC35. For my brows, I'm using Strokes Micro Blade Pen Perfector in the shade of Bauxite. We were actually taught in a makeup workshop on how to put on period looking makeup. So the brows were prominent but they weren't as thick as they are fashionable today. So I'm blending them out with a spoolie and I'm also putting more foundation on the top of the brow just to make it cleaner and a little thinner. For my basic eye and face palette, I am using MAC Shiny Pretty Things Face Compact in the shade of Fair. For my second palette, I am using UK brand Sleek Makeup. It's face form contouring and brush palette in medium 374, which I use both in my eyes and on my cheeks, just to give that snatched eyeliner look. And for my third palette, I am using Estee Lauder's Pure Color Envy Sculpting Eyeshadow. Instead of using tape, I just use my fingers to cover over the area where I don't want any makeup spillage to complete that very snatched and wing-tipped eyeshadow complementing my eyeliner. With the same palette, I then use the lighter colors to highlight underneath the brow bone, tip of the nose, and in between the eyes. For eyeliner, I'm using Maybelline's Hyper Sharp, which is a nice, easy glide on the eyes. Time to curl the lashes with Shuemura Eyelash Curler. For my lashes, I'm using Paw Lash Pro M07 and I cut them just to fit my eyes perfectly and of course the Paw Lash Glue. I like to go over the base of my eyelashes again with eyeliner just to give it that complete sleek look. For my tight line, I like to use Maybelline's Everlasting Gel. The makeup for that period was mostly contour so I used the slightest amount of blush for my cheeks, chin and nose. And for those stubborn dark areas, I use MAC's Prep and Prime Highlighter in Bright Forecast. Just even it out a little dab of my fingertips. My go-to waterproof mascara is Maybelline's Great Lash since there's a lot of crying for my character in this play. Before I put on my bright red lipstick, I prefer to line my whole lip with Michido's lip pencil in the shade of Rosette. This is Tarte's Maracuja Juicy Lipstick in the shade of Cherry. For the win! And I finish it all off with Stroke Skin Veil Cooling Setting Mist. Now we're gonna do my wig, that's my wig behind me. And that's Karen, she's gonna help me prep to put the wig on. Normally I part my hair in the middle for braiding my hair, but since I was going out after the matinee, we decided to do a side part so that it would be easier for me to style afterwards. 
I just wanted to highlight how meticulous the whole process is of prepping your hair, putting the hair net on, weaving the microphone through the hair net, and then propping the wig on top of the mic and your hair. Here she is using a toothbrush like brush, patting it with a lot of very strong hairspray to make sure that the front hairline is very flat and can receive the hairnet well. She's patting it on with her fingers like a gel and the hairnet comes on and as you can see she slowly brings it up to my hairline, make sure that she doesn't overextend it over my ears and then she sprays the whole thing on again with more hairspray. Karen then strategically places clips on the hairnet into my hair making sure it doesn't interfere with the clips of the wig or of the microphone which is going to be woven into the hairnet as you can see so now we're gonna put a wig on and so the wig has uh, tic tacs four of them there say hi Chewy <laughs> there and then one in the back as well so Karen sets it every day before the show, braids us up, I get mic'd up, and then we put the wig on. And then we'll do the finals later. Thank you. This is it. This is the finished product. 